Hello traders, hello investors, how are you doing today my friends? Welcome to another video here in the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and today Tesla is dropping 7.26% right now. The entire stock market is crashing. We see a red day today, it is a real bloodbath. So let's update our thoughts on Tesla and on the market. Just remember my friends, click on the like button to support this channel. If you are new around here, consider subscribing because I'm here every single day to update you guys on Tesla and on other tech stocks. So thank you very much for your support. Let's see how Tesla is doing right now. As you guys know, I am bullish on Tesla. I bought Tesla last Friday and today it is dropping. Keep in mind, Tesla represents 10% of my portfolio. So yes, I am losing a little bit over here. It is annoying. So this drop is something to concern. However, I like how it is reacting right now today. I think Tesla must find a bottom today or even tomorrow before it could actually go up. As I told you guys, my bullish thesis is built completely on statistics. I do not believe the S&P, for instance, is going to drop for six weeks straight. This rarely happens. It's a very rare phenomenon. Last time this happened was on 2008 during the subprime crisis. So I don't believe the situation is more serious than it was back on 2008. So I believe we're going to stop dropping soon, but uh, we got to see it actually forming a bottom. And as I told you guys last Friday, Tesla's bottom would be confirmed if we actually break the 885, which we didn't. So that's a shame. What's more, we dropped, we lost the support at 858 and we even lost the support at 821, which now is working as a resistance. So I would tell you guys that 821 is the most important key point because if we break this point, if we do an upwards breakout, I do believe Tesla will find a bottom over here and this week will end as a positive week for Tesla, meaning we're gonna close above 865. That's how I see the situation, but we must see some confirmation. What if we don't do the breakout of 8 to 1 and uh, we lose today's low? Then our bullish thesis is gonna be completely ruined because the entire stock market might turn into a very bearish situation. If we analyze the S&P, let's get back to the S&P. Yes, we could trigger a double bottom chart pattern over here in the one hour chart, but uh, we must break the 4062, this red line down here in the daily chart. We don't see very good bullish structure at all. And what's more, in the weekly chart, we see that we are almost triggering this head and shoulders chart pattern, which might indicate the beginning of a true bear market. And uh, we are going to talk about that later. And the, the Nasdaq index is also losing the previous support level. However, the Nasdaq is already in a bear market, okay? It is already very, very bearish. And assuming, okay, Nathan, let's assume you are totally wrong right now. Let's say that Tesla is going to lose uh, today's low tomorrow. We're going to re-engage a bear market. Let's say that uh, the, the Nasdaq index will drop more than six weeks in a row, which is very rare, by the way. Uh, the last time the NASDAQ, the S&P dropped more than six weeks in a row was in 2001, thanks to the dot-com bubble. And before that was in 1980, thanks to another crisis, which I frankly don't remember why it happened or the cause of this reaction, but still, still I believe it is a very rare situation, but let's assume you are wrong. Let's assume the S&P will trigger this head and shoulders and it will engage a bear market. What the statistics, what history has to tell us right now? Well, statistically speaking, based on 19 bear markets in the last 140 years, in this article on Market Watch, we're gonna find an average of this drop. They found the average price decline was 37.3% with an average duration of 289 days. Meaning that on average, if this is an ordinary bear market, as it could be, th this bear market would end on October 19 of this year and the S&P would hit 3K. The Nasdaq would be at 10K. Okay, so the Nasdaq would be at 10K, meaning a drop of nearly 14% right now, right? So let me see, 15% roughly. 
So, okay, we're talking about a drop of 15%. Okay, if Tesla drops as much as the NASDAQ is going to drop, which is not true, it would retest again the previous support level over here, okay? But right now, Tesla is dropping 7%. The NASDAQ is dropping 3.37%. It's roughly two times more volatile than the NASDAQ. Usually, Tesla has a beta of two or three times. So, statistically speaking, Tesla will drop roughly 2.5 times the NASDAQ, meaning it would drop roughly 35%, right? So, in the worst case scenario, if the stock market actually engages in a real bear market, Tesla would retest this previous bottom at $500. That's the worst case scenario for Tesla. Is this scenario materializing right now? Frankly, yes, it is trying to materialize. But uh, I think we should wait. We should be a little bit more patient and wait for more signals. Right now, the, the S&P, the indices, and Tesla, they are all in a very delicate situation. In my humble opinion, there is still hope for a recover, okay? I do believe it's gonna recover. I do believe it's gonna close above $821 today or even tomorrow, right? Today is a little bit rough because the reaction must be very, very good. I think tomorrow we're gonna see a good reaction, but if we don't, then okay. Our bullish thesis on Tesla, at least, is going to be totally ruined. But what if we actually break the 821? I think Tesla will easily, easily fill this gap and we are gonna engage a bull trend in the mid-term, meaning we could easily retest or even break the 21 EMA again, right? And in the weekly chart, in the weekly chart, we would seek higher levels like maybe the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement, which is around the 1K, which is my main target for the midterm. I do believe Tesla is gonna hit 1K, but uh, it all depends on how it will react tomorrow. Let's not lose today's low at any cost. Let's see how this is gonna happen, because if we lose today's low, Tesla will easily retest the 756 over here, this black line down here, or even the 700s again, because this point is a secondary support level in my humble opinion, okay? so. To sum up, this particular moment of the stock market is very, very delicate. Statistically speaking, I find very unlikely to see the S&P and the Nasdaq dropping more than six weeks in a row, okay? More than five weeks in a row is already very unlikely. So this is why I do believe we're gonna see a positive week this week. And since we already see some good reactions on the Nasdaq, it is not great, but it is a good reaction. I do believe, I still believe we're gonna see a positive week this week. Today is just Monday, so it is too soon to tell if it's gonna drop or go up. My entire thesis is statistically based and that technically speaking, technically speaking, we must wait for a breakout of the previous resistance levels, okay? The S&P, uh, the S&P precisely must close above 40.59 and Tesla must close above 8.00. 21. Okay, so let's see if Tesla is gonna react in the next few days. I think it must react tomorrow, okay? By Wednesday, I think it's gonna be a little bit too late. It's not gonna be that interesting, but uh, we must see a very quick reaction soon. It is already dropping too much today, right? More than 7% right now, so it is about time. Let's see how Tesla is gonna react. Either way, it is always important to have a backup plan. All right, my friends, thank you very much for watching this video. Stay safe. Farewell.